Buari in serious trouble as PDP ask him to resign. The People Democratic Party, PDP, has demanded the resignation of President Mohamed Buhari over alleged cases of corruption in federal agencies. However, the chairman of the opposition party, Prince Uche Secondus, made this statement in an ongoing media palais in Abuja. In further statement, he cited ongoing corruption investigation of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC, MIC MEC, NED NED, and others, lamenting that Nigeria under President Mohamed Buhari's watch was on ventilator gasping for air. Secondo said corruption has become a way of life among Nigerians and its citizens while Buhari plays the ostrich. He further accused Buhari of abandoning his promise to fight against corruption during his electioneering campaigns in 2015 and 2019 respectively. In my own opinion, I'm now asking if what the PDP said about President Mohamed Buhari and his administration being fired with corrupt agencies and he isn't saying anything about it is true or false. Thank you for listening to this news. What else? What else do you expect? It's true. President Mohamed Buhari's administration did nothing than promote and enhance corruption. According to him, his administration has come to fight and put an end to corrupt malpractices and and uh, and activity in Nigerian boards. On the other way around, instead of doing that, it has come to enhance it and make it even to gain more ground in Nigeria. I will tell you frankly speaking, I've not seen any administration that promotes corruption more than this administration. And it and the president Momobari is the one that costs most of these things. He's the one that costs most of these things. How? You see, coming into power, he made it known to 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 the um, to the masses that he's coming is to come and fight corruption. His coming is to come and put an end to corruption. And knowing fully well that these people are not happy with that decision of the president. So, they got prepared for him. So, his coming to fight corruption ended up causing more havoc and making the corruption to be even more um, more known and more um, advanced in Nigeria. How, 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 how do you how do you expect those people that uh, that encourage corruption to feel that you are coming to block the means they are they, 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 they are means of livelihood, their means of extortion. How do you, how do you how do you, do you think how do you think that these people will feel and really want you to succeed in that? Okay, having done that, you said you want to fight corruption. You are relaxing. You are not having the best of materials. You are not having the best of skilled personalities. Instead of you to put to put up uh, uh, the best uh, the best personalities. On ground, you end up putting on um, uh, uh, the weeklies, weeklies, and re and uh, people that are supposed to have retired from service, from service on ground, believing that they are fit enough to help you fight corruption. Who told you that? Who told you that?
So tell me, how can't he fail? How can't he fail? So that Nigerian is is facing all of these challenges is as a result of the weakness of President Muhammad Bari. He, 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 he has he has given room for uh, for extortion for uh, for deceit and um, and um, discrimination to come to play okay now we are facing a very high level of insecurity what is expected of him as once a general of the Nigerian army is he not supposed to use his his, his army intelligence to know the uh, uh, to know how to tackle the this this issue of insecurity in Nigeria instead of doing that he, he decided to to remain mute maintaining the weeklies as as chief of staffs saying I'm taking order and decision saying that he alone has the right and he alone would know and decide when this chief of staffs should leave office whereas your country is dying as a result of this weak chief of staffs that cannot deliver no one is saying that the president has extorted he hasn't but he is not working as expected the best is not is not coming out of him what is expected of him is not what the people are getting is not dishing it out as expected see the level of our economy see how weak the Nigerian economy is is this how we expect is this what we, we, we're actually expecting expecting in Nigeria economy this is not what we were expecting and besides this is not how the economy was the economy is going down drastically and the president is not is not ready to know that. He's not ready. My viewers, believe me when I say that President Mobari is not helping matters. Instead of helping matters, is even making the matter to be worse. It's even making the matter to be worse. There has been several mass protests against this issue of corruption this issue of insecurity in Nigeria. In fact, um, different organizations in Nigeria has, 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 has come together. They have carried mass protests and uh, also even, even um, international organizations and the international country have, have, have risen. They, 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 have, they, have, they have intervened, they have spoken, they have sent messages, letters, to uh to the to the to the government office in fact yet we are still experiencing what we are experiencing my viewers for how long do we continue like this for how long you really need to come into this issue your comment concerning this uh this news are of great importance please don't hesitate to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you